Hey there, this is John from MySolarHome.us and my latest video is based on a question I get asked often on do you buy a battery or should you buy a generator? Now when we talk talking about should I actually buy batteries along with my solar panels? Batteries for solar panels, um, there are two options really. Uh, there are these smaller batteries which are usually called solar generators and these smaller batteries, they're good for running appliances like you want to run your fridge or you want to run your Xbox or you want to maybe take it out on a picnic or run some tools. Those are like portable um, and, and there are some heavy duty ones. I've got a video on this channel on home solar generators. Uh, two of them, the Blue Yeti 2000 and the Yeti 1500X, they're very good choices. You don't necessarily have to buy them with uh, solar panels. You can buy solar panels along with them and then you, know, you get, you charge the batteries once, recharge them using the solar panels though the solar panel charging takes a little bit more time because the panels are not all that large. When you plan to buy solar panels which you put on the roof of your home, you need bigger batteries. And those are batteries like the Tesla Powerwall or the Generac Power Cell. And you know, there's the LG Chem, there's a lot of options. These are more expensive variety. So the question is, should you actually buy one of these when you're buying solar versus buying a whole home generator? Now a whole home generator has got a lot of positives to it. A whole home generator generator that runs on natural gas can be installed for about 10 grand. And this will power your entire home. And you're talking about big homes. You could be running two or three air conditioners, heaters, water, uh, hot water. It's possible to run all of that off you know, a whole home generator generator. So that's pretty useful. Now, what's not so good about having a whole home generator like Generac is resilience. Tomorrow, if it's supplied by natural gas and there's an outage and the gas lines go, you're stuck. The other thing is these guys are noisy and obviously they're polluting. So from the perspective of you know resilience, from the perspective of pollution, and from the perspective of longevity, the whole home generator doesn't make sense, it has got some disadvantages. The other big disadvantage with a whole home generator is maintenance costs. You might buy it at nine grand or 10 grand and have it installed, but every year you'll have to spend at least 600 bucks on natural gas, getting a, um, getting a guy to have a look at it, um, getting a maintenance person to have a look at it every year. These things, if you don't look after them, they tend to jam up and very soon you will have a blob sitting out there. They're of course very noisy, your neighbors don't like it too much when you run your generic generators. So those are the pluses and the minuses. The plus is you get uninterrupted power, it switches on automatically, it's easy to install, you know, they are all over the place. Now, when do you consider a battery for your home? You consider one of those bigger Tesla batteries or the generic batteries when you're looking to do it with solar panels. You can't just buy a battery because once the battery discharges, you are stuck. So you have to buy it with solar panels. Tesla, for example, today sells their solar panels with their Tesla Powerwall included. They do not even give you the opportunity of just buying solar panels, which I've covered in another video. I don't think is really a very good idea. Having a battery backup for your home is a great idea if you're planning to use it for essentials. Then it makes economic sense. You have longevity, pollution free, no noise, practically maintenance free. Once you're installed and done, those batteries for the next 10 years, you can pretty much forget about them. Now, what, what do I mean by essential power backup? If you're planning to back up your kitchen, your refrigerator, your, your range, your, your dishwasher, your television, your router, your, your Xboxes, your lights, but not necessarily running your central air conditioning all the time or your hardware, hot water heater all the time or say you've got well pumps so you've got big uh, loads which are on motors. Those, if you plan to run, you need additional batteries. Having one Tesla battery or two Tesla batteries is relatively affordable. When I say relatively affordable compared to a Generac generator which is a 10 grand, buying two Tesla batteries will cost you maybe around 15 grand and you have other batteries in the market in the same range, maybe a couple of thousand here or there. So that is a case where we can say, okay, spending that extra five or six grand makes a lot of sense because you have a maintenance-free 
pollution free, clean, good looking solution. But if you are planning to have whole home backup where you want to run your AC, your cooler, everything off batteries, you'll need at least three, maybe four or five of these big batteries. It's possible, but you spend a lot more money. That's when the economics start to make a little less sense. If you're going to be spending 20 to 25, maybe 20 to 30 grand on batteries versus a 10 grand on a generac, uh, whole home generator, I would stick with the whole home generator for now. The good news is the prices of batteries are going down like they're going for solar every year. I'm thinking in a couple of years, you'll probably have whole home battery backup at a price level, which is a whole home generator. And that's going to be game over for generators because clearly having a maintenance free solution is so much better than the stinky polluting gas generators. So we're still not there. Right now, as of this is the middle of 2021, batteries make great sense if you're planning to use it judiciously for uh, backing up critical loads in your home. Now, in terms of how much should you be spending on batteries and, uh, and solar, solar comes for anywhere between 15 to 20, 15 to 30 grand. And I have videos on my channel on how to buy solar, how much they cost, how many panels you need, all short videos, all full of information. Have a look at them. I've also got a lot of battery comparison videos, whether you want to buy a Generac, whether you buy a Zonin, you want to buy some other brand, or you want to buy an LG battery which battery is better than the other. This video, we're just looking at should you buy a battery or should you buy a generator? So buying a battery versus a generator in case you're thinking of doing critical loads in your home is a no brainer. Go for the battery. If you're thinking whole home backup, you might still consider the, the natural gas generator. Now, portable generator is the one which run on gas, which you get at the gas station. Those are a no-no. Please share and like this video. Thank you very much for watching this on my channel.